which was conducted at Mr. Gilbert Parada's farm in Jimba, Marawa village or settlements near Chegutu. So today we're going to be hearing from this communal farmer how he managed to establish a beautiful crop of SC727 and 659 in the 2020-21 farming season. So in Sitko, our main thrust during this time of the year is to promote a look and learn approach amongst farmers where they get to experience and see the performance of Sitko varieties across the divide and make their choices, their informed choices of the varieties that work well in their agroecological region. So without taking much of your time, I'm going to then ask the farmer to come in and give us his remarks in terms of the variety choice and why he feels that seed co is the seed of choice and is going to increase his productivity level. Kindly note that this, field, this virtual field today was, is, is going to be conducted in Shona. So it's going to be interpreted into English after each and every speaker for the benefit of those who do not understand Shona. So please stay with us and kindly send through your comments and questions in the chat box so that we can have an interactive session. So at this point, you're going to hear from the farmer. After the farmer speaks, I'll come in to interpret in English, then we'll hear from the next speaker. I'm sorry, Ivan, we're smoking on a pano. Sarah Williams, Gilbert Paradza, Drikuno Kazimba, Marawa Settlement, Mashona and West, near Chagutu, Dopatiri, Patrizan Quarrens, Msenges, Irid Murimi, and Ofara Grim and Beria Sidgo. Seven twenty seven. Seven twenty seven, Iripane, Dakaij Gara, so eighteen November. Paratara Guij Garai, Vurando Payawias Mudon and Agauri Macar in a Trakita Sagandaraj Gara, the Pranda, which you buy some pictures of Pagara Ipapo. A three hectares in Zangu Zandruk Tanis as easy, seven twenty seven. A Diang, a hectare and the Ipas, seven bags per hectare, Sagapa Pesnagapa, twenty one hectare, twenty one bags. The compound D. Zanero, and the Gara in the two weeks, you are some shaming a shabuda. The one is a good zera, putty, very young, we shy a sora. Mushonga and the Gashandisa, Ranguano Tinato Sagana Premchaka, and the putty Mondo, Nato Guagua. The Agarova, um, the form one Maguagua. The Agarova stroke a rimaca chain and Nato. Ushura Makudaro, Nakatara, and Bell Yang, Nakanotuna Guita, Makoyai, and Rumashibagi, the Governor Tora Zakari, Mushonga Nunzi, Menesis, the Banaspria Mundawang, the Menesis Yoyo, Makoyara of Tango Sakafa, Chadaro Shibaki, Changuin, Chasika, Chakita Majan, Sigar, six, the Rapid one, and Dambu Ziko, Roguti in India and you. Under command. The guys would ah, where are you from? By Yanis Seven, Mashija, the Kubuda, the guys are now better fit place. Saganadaro, the guys would hang up to a patch bag a chang. My vegan drug tower, the guys are eight, five hectares in my chest. She now the three, the guys are twenty four bags. The top. Doma Shantri and Dagaita Upper Pamunda Murbono seven twenty seven. Says on Daguza, I could in the Murimu see and Faran Bell the seed book. The Engon Bell Yandagari Mazakari six forty nine. Bell Yatoiba Dag Dutta Sautana could see a shibago, Madagatunga and Nagushigayo Dagari Mazakari six fifty nine. Dagari Mazakari, six fifty seven. Dagari Mam BZ, Tipo five. The Fungam was a child in Dombe, we are not saying Zandofa Ragurim Zagadero, Ambe with Zozo, Karamsi Tarira, Zanadoma Stabarisunis, 
Zai pambe wizozo. Azichada mvura. Asima katara iruku ya na pesi lakuri mai. Imbewu ya ndra kutumiyaza uteresa. 727 yaka shinga ama zangu. Parizino. Pani masona na kupana 2 to 3. Uraya enda. Asima kaitara mweti inema. Imbewu yaka shinga mbewi. Kumashure wakataka mbovau. Taita mwezi. Isati ya tumbuga. Asurera marakani yenge zera. Chete zdoi. Rakani yenge zera. Mbura paine mbwe ya kana ya chete. Unora tanga wina mbe. Nishindaro. Saka nukuru za yoti mbewi. Yaka shinga. Amsoro peji. Pesua. Kana tanga kuri mbewi. Kana suru kanganisa. 2012. Kubai papa ama zangu swaru mbaishi pisa. Friends kufuriza. Asa asata itanzara. Na yoi. And sati da itanzara ni 727. And sati. Nakana kura ni ma previous. Arukuma shure. Last year. Mburi anga erishema. Ah. Baba kizari mbura zizio. Nakana zuruwa wa 30 chance. Na yoi. Asi mburi anga erishi. Irishoma. Mbewe yaka shinga ndo kunye pera hii. Yaka shinga mbewe hii. Zadaro, taka itari hili ya tauta uno tengeza. Tarezo, kaita tanga zaini. Inore mambewi. Bagi jiga, reza anu mgu, mshoma, shoma, mshoma, shoma. Bagi jirenga la zara. Saka, ni mamila, saka ita. E, tazi siya, uti mungu, 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 parisha anoda. Andu kuru zirai. Tamba ine mbewi, wa setu mairima. Eh, magatari ap, apo, hata apo sema gesis. Atina kuitu wano urume ende, chakatwa badara, jiro hii. Iro hori, jiro hii. Rakari watu magesis, anu sika pamba apo hii. Saka, atitire maria ka wanda, asi uremu, ude kuwaza warena. Uremu, waro unu kuwaza, unu pa ushiremu. Wakata uremu, wano maria ka wanda. Pia sebe, tuwe sebe. Saka awarimi, mwe ambira nda kupai, dhe kuti isu. Mnoko zeta awe, dhe anoda. Aiwa. Jiwenda kutawira ya. Sandaka idira. Kanapa jemineshe ni shaibu shaibu. Ti mvurata angwe, ti wawa, ti shoma shoma, katora puranda. Maka jigara. Chino muda. Asioni sangara kuzi, uombele na wajigara rili. Mwaka iti nangura ka ora. E na ka ora. Kambeo ka diki. Ka siji kacho. Kano mwuda mvura shoma shoma. Saka chichoku tiangaka. I jemine shedi. Jemine shedi chichoku tangu zinzi muribi. Ani mbeo. Jemine shedi ino tonga. Kana pasi na jemine shedi na paso. Aunga mwe sarisa suki. Kwa kisina umumira saka naka. Saka. Dio mbeo. Ini. Se muri mwo sidi mo. Ya no ti do number one. Yangu ini. Ongo pare zigo kune bangu. Zawano ti zinaita zai. Asi indo ti yo. Bewi yu arume. Kati mba ite zai. Tine zakare futi imwe. Ya oya manji manji apa. Ino zi 649. Mucha tende ramchai wona. Makata rao madoke roku. Kana usika ziwe. Unungo ti aaa. Doya kare nzo. Asika na wakuzi ziwa kuna wata aiwa. Ya isiri yo. Zirungwa ita zaka tezana. Kuna oti mbe wizi. Ii. Sine zimwe. Kenda pa mchenji. Kana kuti. Teta ayo apana mchenji. Aidone. Ii sina kuru mwana mchenji. Zwa kutika na wakuni itaka kutema. Ziono pocha mwata se. Ah mazimai. Ende kumunda wakusendo kira shibagi. Kweti. Aririge. Arigwane mepo. Mwana laka arigwane mepo. Raru mwana mchenji. Dio hii. 727. Dine iwe mbeo za kare. Ndaka rima. Disi. Mbeo hiyo yoyo. Isa. 659. Maka ifugi ya tira mbeo hiyo. Ii nda angwa tuwa. Rega ini mbone yeza. Asisi nsinga ziene ya suya. Ina saka wanda. Datuwa nori ziyo. 
Beu de seed weight, guys. Zirukuki zana pa go ra zero. Shaka fa ane i seven, twenty seven. Pa go. Two thousand eighteen. Kaka ne am furia ka wander fuga wari mwe sumu zisi. Daka si wapa eleven dance. Hey, Hector. I. Second yaena. Pa go re, no did I see. I was one of my other. I got a rebel. You can't even eat that. Sagam Bewigaiga. Why she joined you and her own banai. The Joga, the Asia, Nakuro, but deal. He pays a guana. One way back in the Sagaquana, shed with us a guana shed. I want to talk to a garo, and it's a guadiga. A canoe to a garo, but one good tag or. Diago in the ring right now. The top we are in. When the fan goes raise us, we are still going to be As you know, we eat. And in Bay, we eat up. We check out. 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 We in the college in Pacific, he shoot by yo six forty nine. Dos and the Gawana in the Astor, Coca Pera Coca Pisa. I was so angry to have a poor last year. I seen him to go out there. Ah, the Gandia Madina was to pass up poor. Doma Mira Gatambeu Yandro Fire is seven twenty seven. So we were hearing there from the farmer who was explaining passionately his choice of seed co-varieties and the journey that he has walked with seed co-varieties over the past years. The farmer was explaining that on the 18th of November, that is when they started establishing their crops at Marawa village or settlement in Chegutu. So the farmer started establishing at that time because that is the time when they received the effective rains. He went on to mention, beginning with the variety that he sees to be a variety that performs well in his area, SC727, a late maturity hybrid variety. So the farmer explained that they established this variety because in previous seasons, they were getting very good yields despite the dry spells and the droughts that were experienced. He gave an example of the 2018 season where he said that the rains were favorable and they managed to get 11 tons per hectare on SC727. He also explained that in the coming season, in the 2019-2020 season, when the rainfall was low and there were long periods of uh, moisture stress that were experienced by the crop, he managed to get nine tons per hectare on 727. So he mentioned that this variety is his variety of choice because of the exceptional tolerance to mid-season dry spells, which you mentioned that this variety could go for even a month without receiving any moisture and it would not succumb to permanent wilting. This season, the, the rainfall pattern was good, but for the past two weeks, there was a dry spell, which is a, a, a mid-season or end-of-season dry spell. But the farmer explained that this variety was still standing firm in the field without succumbing to the challenges of moisture stress, which is to show that it is very good tolerance to dry spells. Other than SC727, the farmer also established SC649, which has been tamed not only in, Af in Zimbabwe, but in Africa, it has been tamed the desert walker. Why? Because of its exceptional tolerance to dry spells. It does so through its bulky, leafy nature, which allows it to withstand periods of moisture stress for a long time. This variety also has a stay green effect, which means that it is able to then photosynthesize for a longer period without giving in to, to periods of, of, of dry spells. Looking at the cob size, which is one of the yield elements, the farmer explained that the cob size of both the 727 and 649 were exceptional, thereby giving good grain quality. He went on to explain that the other varieties that they established were in the 600 series, SC659, the 
the variety that has wreaked havoc amongst the farming community, both in the commercial and the communal sector in the 2020-21 farming season. He also established SC657, an upcoming variety that we have just launched together with its um, partner 661. These are the varieties that you're going to be seeing going forward on the market. The farmer also established a 500 series early maturity variety, SC555. SC555 is a variety that has also come with added attributes and advantages for the farmers, especially in areas where the rainfall pattern does not give uh, rainfall that is above normal or uh, in abundance. So 555 is a good early maturity variety. It has come in with benefits of a close tip, a large attractive crop, as well as a drooping effect, which allows for us to manage crop growth that might come in from the late rains. So these are the varieties that the farmer established. But the farmer did not end there. Being a good and serious farmer, he appreciates the importance of employing good genetics together with good agronomic practices to unlock genetic potential. So he explained that after planting, he came in with, uh, at planting, he came in with the basal fertilizer and uh, at a rate of uh, seven bags per hectare. But we need to emphasize that fertilizer rates, they are not to take note of from a neighboring farmer because we want you to have a custom made fertilizer recommendation that speaks to your area and the nutrient constitution of your soil. This you can only get from doing soil analysis. So the farmer here told us their fertilizer regime, but we recommend soil analysis for you to get a fertilizer regime that works for you. After the basal fertilizer, they came in with soap dressing fertilizer. They applied in split applications because of the nature of the season. But in total, they applied eight bags per hectare of top dressing fertilizer AN. This helped, the split application helped to mitigate the effects of leaching that could have been experienced because of the incessant rains that were received in the 2020-21 farming season. The farmer went on to explain that they came in with management of insect pests, particularly the problematic insect pests, the four armyworm. They came in with the recommended insecticides, but it's important to scout regularly and make sure that you detect the problem before the insect pests have reached economic threshold levels where your economic yield can be affected. In maize, remember, the economic yield is the grain. So anything that affects the grain quality or quantity has to be safeguarded against. So the farmer in this case came in with control for four armyworm. The farmer also explained that it's important to always have a weed free seed bed where we even saw the fields we could see from one line to the end, a clean field with no weeds because weeds come in with competition for moisture, nutrition and growing space. So the farmer used a recommended um, herbicide, which was in line with the weed spectrum that was in the field. Farmers should move away from using general recommendations when it comes to herbicide use, because you need to understand your weed spectrum. You need to understand the time of application. You also need to understand your rotation plan so that you don't come back again saying herbicides have a challenge of destroying your soil because of the residual effect that these herbicides might have. You need to read and understand the label or consult widely the agrochemical specialists on the use of herbicides. So this is what we were hearing from our farmer. The farmer also went on to mention some of the benefits that he got from the establishment of Citco varieties, particularly the SC727, which is a late maturity hybrid. He mentioned that they now have electricity at their farm, but this electricity is not from any well-wisher. It is electricity that they managed to put or erect at their farm because of their harvest and the, the bumper harvest that they've been getting from the Sitco produce. So there you have it. Sitco is the real deal. We have just had a profit story from the farmer. He even gave us what they have done with the profitability that they are getting from Sitco products. The farmer also explained to us that even in a season when the rains are not as good as the ones we had this year, the Sitco varieties will still perform top notch and give you good yields. So at this point, we are going to hear from the Sitco agronomist for Mashona and West. His name is uh, Macherera. He's going to give us 
his ordeal of the varieties as well, and a brief explanation of variety selection tips that you might want to impart on farmers as a take home message during this look and learn virtual webinar. Tinofara kusangana nemi nasi pano pamusha wa paradza. Mumarawa. Vanoa murimi. Anushandi sa mbeu ze sitko. Pa mbeu ze sitko za wano rima iziz. E, chinu cha kungwa itu kwa nemunu wese. Mudunu re muno marawa. Vashinji wa rukushandi sa mbeu ze sitko kuburiki za neko. Ichi chino wa chinu chandino pupura kana kunemi mose rushinji we Zimbabwe. Kuti gore mbe uze sitko, riri kubatika, arisi gore kupara para, rekuchagiriza. Tino wiri ranandit. Seguta uru wakwa itu wana baba paradza panapu. Mbe uze kusitko, ziri mumu panda ya kasi ya nasiana. Iji, tino jitira kuti mamiriro ekunze, manairo emvura, mamiriro evu. Ano siyana mnjimbo za tino raramatira andit. Jino hati di kusiyawa mwe varimi kunze. Kuti kugonze ayo wa sidiko, ayikuwa nisiki kurimika kudunu rakati. Tunoda uti sidiko irimike Zimbabwe yose, ingawa Afrika yose, pasirose. Murimi wese, afare one gorechi, sidiko. Dopa muno ona tukizo isa mbe uzedu mpanda. Kuti tino vira kuturo, soko, e, mbizi, shumba, na iyo ananzo uwa murugu onawa. Panzo uiripano ishi. Ino nzi SC 727. Sidko 727. Muchika muchembe uze mwaka murefu mune nzo ui. I nzo u ndoi ine gore pa msoro soro. Gore pa msoro soro iri. Tinori wana kuburikiza ni mauchi kiri waka itu kwa mbeo. Jiripa iri. Ndoi shuna ita kutimurimi. Ave ano wana cho uiri. Patsanga zinova mgo. Gore chibage arita urwe chibage chisati chayesu kwa pasikeo. Mbewi ito kuru zira kuti muijigare mwaka wayo uchaka kwana. Tanzu wa shinzi ii yaka jigaru wa 18 November. Tino wira na utimfura yese yaka naya mwaka uno ui. Yaka pinda mumunda wa murimi. Yaka nubasira kuumba go. Juno wa shuruku pupuru wa nechibage chataka itase. Chataka tarisa ichi. Saka kana tadaru. Atika ngo mirilo tumfura nga ina yabazi. Ngati bate ingu wa ye kuchikara. Tomba ata uwandu wema zinde pa yekita ya amu tumeni. Kanataka tarisana nenzo u. Tuku tarisira kutumite 50,000 plants pa yekite. Zaka tara muka ja amu tumeni. Jume shacho jino wa shata uzba na wani na waparazi. Mazinde edo anukura haka sununguka. Apana kuruwi sana. Mairano nekuda kwe zuba, mairano nekuda kwe unyoro, kana mairano nekuda kwe kutia kwe kwe shiri mwa mufu. Jino shea shaka naka, kana jono pera, mazinde edu anotipavana, waka yenzana. Ino nzi uniform, andi, maka shitari sa andi chuku yu onapu. Ii jindoa jino iti sakuti marizo za tuna ita ziazi ya kutimbe uye edu ii, ino shika gora kati, zive chokwadi. Muka siya nisa mbe umumunda, gowa arizo bude raka naka. Tino ritira mbe uyedu kufaku ujiki. Tino sakura mbe uyedu ujiriku pupuru wane. Nendi maedu. Kusakura handi kungo sakura bazi. Kusakura kune nguva. Pane pa mpe kuti tino zora mba tongo sakura. Asi chiba agecha kachikiru waku tara chikafu nesora. Chiba agechi chiri chidiki. Kufati chichi chikara. Kushika kuma 4-6 weeks. Mumunda mnufa nonge magaita say. Maka chena. Musina sora. Renozo kwipi za chi. Chiba agechi edu. Sora iritakari visa, jese jatiru kuumba kutigori kure jineenda kuchipagi. Shofa shano buda shaka di, shaka dai. Pane chino shore kapu. Hapana antit. Jino nda kuna kutituwa nesani. Kuti mkurima izo mbe uze sitko. Achisi chino chaka naka kuti mungo farira kungonzo wakunzi sitko, sitko. Chaka kosha kumurimi. I benefit ino wani kwa nemurimi kufapa mbeu zechi ze sitko. Mbeu ye sitko ichu ya kwa muri ino fano wa kubereka. Pa 3 hectares zama mbeu wa ziru umumu. Zindere gare garine mwana. Mwana wega wega acha kowewa. Dia acha umbachi 
Marie Murim, dia acha umba dura re Murim. Andi, kana jadaro, zindera berek, muguri we sidko, akango ya karika muguri jige, unaita muguri murefu, chinangwa, chiri chakupa mkana, wekuti tsanga, ziwane peku gara. Kana zawana peku gara, pa muguri murefu, zinenge zaka wanda. Muguri we sidko, unatipa mitsara ya kawanda, mchirungwa noti hai roo namba. Itanga kai zandis. Iko orugi tasa rugu umbra. Muguri murefu long cob. Cobbing ability kubereka. Netanga zake tasa zaka wand. Ashcha perere ipapo. Imi chama kuda kunyanyo one sesa chaka kosha. Andi muguri uyuri zauri uyi. Muguri uyi wakai tasa zauri uyuri. Chino fani ru akubata chokwa hadi. Kuti mariangu ya nda umba, dichai wana kufamukuri makwangu. Atidi wanu, wanu kutu, wanu ngori imanditi. Jinono tengesu kwa kumaketi. Jaita jishoma nini pane jinorasu kwa. Kana kune wanu mbojika chaka ata muno jona jinaitika kuhachanti. Uno chipa jaka wanda omeza jishoma. Triku jita mama saru ziratu na ita zimembe wanditi. Pambe uedu ii, chino zoshika peku pezi sira. Panonzi. Deep kennel set. Ishi mwono shuwana kumbe u zese zese jiko zanda taura. Deep kennel set tlenge tichirewa kudaiso. Makatari saba. Guri redu pano garatanga ridiki diki. Guri iri ariende ku GMB. Guri iri arigaiswe. Chinaenda ku GMB ichi. Itanga. Andi murugu zona kwa nda kwa zakaeti. Murugu zona di zaka nyura mguri. Murugu zona ka. Gipo pane mari edu hapu. Doja, tinofano wako ongorora. Makawana ndao ya kwa muri ndiriwe sidi kwa nchiku uza ema erano neshe go. Doja, kwa tinoshitana pa kuno tisana nguri rana kuwanda kwe. Kwe go. Go, haritana nguri weriru machanga. Doja, go, re sidi kwe. Toto konyora. Tuende sa ku ujembi. Po, papa ya chamu. Poko chacho manji. Go, iri. Tika visa mbe u apa. Iine 85%. Ya tinoti shelling out percentage. Tika ita 100 grams mguru uyuri hapa. Waoma zinodiwa kujembi 12.5%. Tika toko nyera tsanga. Zinoti fano lakutipa 85 grams. And it. Tora sa o 15 grams. Kuta kutitino rasa 55 grams. Tosa rani 45 grams. Muruku shuona and it. Saka ndiru kukuru 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 zirai. Kutipese patinono saru zambewu. Gati ve ine chinangwa, chekuti mpeu, diro business redu kuno. Teka ita shekutamba pe kutangira, chino peza futi tichita shekutamba. Ne go, risinga tisimu zire mudunu. Go, risina charino chinja pa marara miro ye murimi. Go, risinga simu zenyika yedu. Tungo wavanu, wekura amba titingo che manzara yesu takari mandi. Ticha vapano, tuenda kuno tauraneja ingwe mpeu. Iriku miri uko, inonzi SC659. Iyo icha yu. Vema du nuriru, wakato ipa zita kudara. Anti mno zaati chinu, chino oo na kizava na chitane kupi wari mwe zita. Inonzi mbinga. Binga embe, wanditi. Tika papano, maitro ayo, shandata ora merano nipano vago ore sidko, shese shiripo ipa. Kwa zita kubandu zika kwa kaitwa, Mairano ne feedback ino vakuwa muri warimi. Neshu notari siruwa one mamiriru wako itachi. Kuze, tichu uchika tuunza mbeo kwa warimi. Warimi wachiramba wachirimi. Maita basa ni kutere. So we're just hearing there the detailed explanation from the CITCO agronomist. As you can see, following through these webinars, all of them communal and commercial, you can check and tell that the CITCO agronomist are there to add value in your farming enterprises and make sure that you realize the fullest potential of seed co varieties. So Mr. Macherera there was explaining that it is important for you to know your variety. The best way for you to know your variety is to understand your agroecological region. Your agroecological region will also help you to pick the variety that suits in the correct iconography that seed co has developed. Iconography is the identification of seed co varieties 
through the naming of animal totem. So this is important because it's for easy recognition. Wherever you go in Africa, you will be able to realize which variety you want to pick just by understanding the iconography. When you find that the rabbit is going to represent the 300 series varieties, 301 and 303, and you find that the 400 series varieties, the very early maturity, are going to be represented by the monkey. Then we move on to the early to the uh, to the early maturity, where you are going to find that the zebra is going to represent that group. Then the medium maturity is going to be represented by the lion, and the largest yielding variety is going to be re represented by a large animal, which is the elephant. So this also helps in the identification of the varieties as well as the yield levels that you're going to expect and the days to maturity, especially of the different varieties as they are going to increase from the uh, early, ultra early maturity, very early, early, medium to the late maturity, the days to maturity are going to differ even in the different agroecological regions. So it's important and we really applaud CITCO for coming through for us, for the farmers, for the farmers to be able to uh, quickly identify the variety that they want, even if they for, uh, they've forgotten uh, the numbers that are written on the pack, but if they just remember the iconography that we have just spoken about, it helps them in identifying the variety of choice. Then the agronomist also went on to explain some key elements of agronomy, uh, of agronomic practices, which speak, which speak to issues to do with plant population. Yield is a function of two things, yield the plant and yield the unit area. So the agronomist today was explaining that it is important for you to always have a high number of plants, the recommended number of plants. You do not want to have too little or too much because this is going to have a cost bearing. If you have too little, it means you are going to underproduce and you're going to have less and a reduced number of crops as opposed to what you were supposed to get. If you are going to have too many plants, then it means you have increased your cost structure and that cost structure is going to eat into your profit margin and your productivity and profitability is going to be affected. So the optimum plant populations that we recommend at CITCO range between 50,000 plants per hectare to 60,000 plants per hectare. Then in, in areas where there is a dry spells and the rainfall potential is low or during a season when it's a drought year, we can come down in terms of the population so that we can have a, less, a reduced number of populations from 36,000, 44,000 to 44,000 plants per hectare, because this will also reduce competition for moisture amongst the plants. So you should be guided, guided by the nature of the season that you are having so that you'll be able to get the optimum yield levels. The agronomists also emphasized the point that the farmer had highlighted on the importance of weed control, the importance of pest control, because you do not want to come in late, especially with weed control, when the economic yield level has already been affected. Some farmers think that they need to come in when they see that the weeds have grown to a height of about a meter, 30 centimeters and above. This means that you're already late for weed control. If anything, they, the, the competition for nutrition and moisture is already occurred, and the weeds being the unwanted party, they are going to consume more than the crop because they know that they're growing where they are not wanted. So it's important for you to always come in with timeous weed control and achieve a weed free field. Once this is done, the farmer should also scout regularly. We cannot emphasize enough the importance of regular scouting. You need to be a foot soldier. You need to, to have your, your, your footprint in the field at any given time. And as you scout, do it in a systematic way so that you are not repeating the same point over and over again. And scout even on the back part of the leaves because insect pests and diseases, they might start to occur from the bottom side of the leaf coming upwards. And the insect pests might even hide on the underside of the leaves or on the growing points. So your scouting should be thorough so that you make sure that you really see if there's a challenge that is coming and you come in with time as control. Engage agrochemical specialists for chemicals that can control uh, uh, this problematic insect pest, especially the, the four army web, which has been a nuisance for the past three to five seasons. You need to be on top of the situation and prepare accordingly. You also need to alternate 
product so that you are not coming in with the same product over and over again as this will promote the development of resistance. The agronomist then went on to speak about the beauty of seed varieties, where he mentioned that seed varieties are there to end hunger. Seed varieties are there to add value to a farmer's enterprise. Seed varieties are going to make the silos overspill with grain. That is what seed varieties are meant to do. So the agronomist explained that the varieties that the farmer established there include the 727, 649, 659, 657, and 555. But the agronomist was explaining holding a sizable cob of SC727, where he explained that the cob was long and attractive. And we are going to be showing you as we progress and move towards the question and answer segment, the length of the cobs that we, we saw at that farm in Chekutu, so that you can just have a visual appreciation because of uh, the measurement of a standard measure of a ruler. Then we also had the agronomist speaking about the deep kennel set. The deep kennel set speaks to the economic yield of any crop. In any cropping venture, you need to understand where the economic yield is coming from. Because in grain production, if you're doing it for silage, yes, of course, the bulkiness, the leafiness, the stock texture is going to be good. The stay green is going to be good. But if you are doing your grain, or si if you're growing your maize for grain, then you need to pay attention to the grain size because the grain size is going to add to the, to, the to the weight of the grain, which ultimately gives you the productivity story and the high yield level. So it's important for you to take note of that. The agronomist went on to break the cob in half. After breaking the cob, he went on to show the, the, the shelling out percentage on the cobs. So these are the cobs that we got from the farm. These are the cobs that we managed to get from the farm. You can see that they are long and attractive. And today, we are just going to show you, we do not want to estimate, we want to be precise. So we are going to measure this, the length of this cob. As you can see, this is a ruler, which is a standard unit of measure. And you can check out the length of the cob. Then we are going to use another cob here to show you the high number of rows. Upon counting the rows on this cob, we found 18 rows, which means that this is a sizable cob. Then we are going to break it in half and show you the high shelling out percentage. The high shelling out percentage of seed for grain is in the fact that you can get a percentage of 80, 85% or more. Then this is the shelling out percentage that we are getting here. If you check out, this is the core area. Because we are not producing maize, for firewood, we are producing maize for grain. So the grain should be the major part of the cob. So as you can see here, this is a small cob. This is what we are saying when we speak about deep kennel set. If we take one cob from the end there, take another one from this end there, directly opposite, they should just touch each other. But in this case, they are overlapping, which goes to show that the shelling out percentage that we speak about of 85% by this cob has been surpassed which is a good attribute for yield levels. So this is something to take note of. We kindly ask you to take through your question in the chat box, as we are going to have a question and answer segment where we are going to be responding to your question. So the agronomist also went on to mention that the, the farmer established SC659, a variety that, as we say, spoke about earlier on, is uh, raised eyebrows amongst farmers in the different um, farming communities, from the communal, commercial, as well as the large-scale farmers. He also said that this variety has been given a name, a nickname. It has been named after things that, uh, that speak to, uh, to profits, to high, high, high levels of, of, of profitability. So it's something to take note of as well, SC659. And the other giants in that maturity group are SC657, SC661, which were launched at the Ratsay Arnold Field Day, where we were with farmers on Wednesday, the 24th. We also heard that varieties like 649 also perform well being desert walker varieties. So having heard from the agronomist, we want now to hear from the agritech extension officer. Because at CITCO, we don't move alone. We believe in teamwork. We believe in a team effort for increased productivity. So we work hand in glove with the Ministry of Agriculture's agritech extension officers who are mandated 
to make sure that the farmer is a, are in cross proximity with an agri extension officer. So the state co provincial agronomist work with the local agri officers from the ministry to make sure that the farmer realizes, realizes value out of the establishment of seed co products. Let's hear from the agri officer. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm Masidi au sisi zaidi nchini ndani au sisi swari mnyanya sisi kop yeti na yapano yeti na masidi au sisi zaka wanda asi sisi sisi au sisi yeti na yapana ba na sisi sisi kop ino andiyo one of the sisi kops zanda kachini ndani zoku vapanda karam area ino dada kutenda kuti isusu tiri tega swari mis apara zetu kuna kuita kuti basara duri budi ri kati sisi na masidi au sisi anoti uchikira mbeo zino andi zombeo zatiru kuna pano pana apa sokutara sokutara wa bautara wa bautara pan tuona tine SC seven two seven e mbe wia dono kuruzi rao isusu kwa gritex kuti wari mwakawanda kudai wanga wakwani sabu din kupinda au kuri mambe wii lo kuti isusu ina kwa chedu e tishizi gira urumende tino nyanyo farira kuti e wari ni wawane chikaf chaka wakwani ra pa food security e Bari manufa mto wa nchi kaf chaka wakwa ni rafu nyangwa hizo tengesa e kuzo umri mikuta hizo tengesa zuri to vira ba kuti chipe ba kuti anenga harima zaka nak ni ya tiri yandru rau tara bana peka kosha kuari mende kuti e tiro kuna kwa nambe zaka nak zaka wachipe ba kuno esitko e asika tisinga kwa nsi kuti zira zino diwa zino aso tino zizi zai susu kwa agritex ni ya zoku timbe uiz e zino rimangua i zino fana ku Kunge zi space wa sei, zino fana kufisikuwa sora sei, zino fana waku piwa mafetla za zakata sei, asira za zino tishandira, nukuti mbea uto kuna kiti wana te chaka kwa te chaka, tuwa ishandisa pa kurima, asika tisinga kwa nisi, kunge tichiteza, zino di wakuti mbea uye itipe go, hae kwa nisi kutipa go, saka, nukuti kwa rimiwese, kufaiso ziti enda kumberi, kuti murimi ya budire, kusika paneso haria, Anenga aineza tinoto taura isusu kwa agritex. Kuti tezira izine zizine zizine. Iye murimozi tezira. Katika murima kasa tezira. Zinodiwa hapa nsuku wana guo. Panika guo ritu kucha sirapana. Saka tinoonya nyokuru zira warimi. Kuti ngati yende rerembeeri. Tichisha anda. Saka simba. Nukuti kurima katiru kuita wakutofa na wakutora se pesimus. Atifa nukuti tungo rima. So kuti ndofa wakati nukuwa jika ini ni muri. Oe. Gore duri rofa na kuti sisi zapa kuti iwe iwe ne muri uno guta, tuo sote community au geri na yao ino kuna guti la pauri, kwa sote nyika kata kwenye disa kuna na GMP ino kuna shini ishwana gore kana kwa doa shinua shinua kwa shu chukuru shi urumend, saka isusi tora kuru tora kuti nda saka nyanya, besi tuko, no guti shanda nesu, ba chiti pa iyo sisi ba chiti pa na ba muri me ane ane sasa na uto arasu guti zo, guti zo honga na pa na ba ane mbeo ya kato piwa. Yema demos, saka mbeo hii, kuti iji arwe, imi ndo kutiri ya mune saka naka, anaka shanda nesu, woku agritex, tishi shanda nae, kutu wati, tisike, pa gore, tishi atari sira kupana, asipa na, nofunga nina saka nina kwa anda, sendula wati ndita ore, asungo ti, varimi, kate zeno peto kona napo, kuti tite zere, sinu selenga shinzi, tite, ne varimi isi, maete enge. So we're hearing there from the agricultural extension officer, for Mara village, Ms. Tina Jena, where Ms. Tina Jena was speaking about the importance of coming in with the provision of good genetics to enable effective extension. So he said that as seed houses, we play a key role in making sure that the farmer gets the best genetics to unlock value out of and make sure that the productivity level that they are anticipating can be reached. Ms. Tina Jena also mentioned issues to do with their mandate to make sure that farmers achieve the goal of food security. Food security and food self-sufficiency and food surplus is the goal of the government. So the Ministry of Agriculture is mandated 
as well as the seed houses, like as, um, as we as Sitco, we are also mandated to make sure that the farmers are able to achieve this by providing food genetics and the agronomist alluded to that. So you also mentioned issues to do with the importance of then coming in with the, with the extension services that unlock value out of the food genetics that the farmers will have established. Where he spoke about the importance of adhering to the recommended times, uh, planting time, the ideal planting time, to make sure that the farmers can optimize one on the heat unit, two on the rainfall pattern, as well as the growth pattern of the crop that will have been established. The, the agronomist went on to mention the importance of using the correct inputs at the correct time to make sure that the crop is not starved and um, uh, gives the best out of its possible yield. Then he also went on to emphasize the importance of listening to advice from agritech officers. So the advice that we would like to give farmers is for you to make sure that you are working hand in glove with your CITCO agronomist, with your local agronomist from the, from the Ministry of Agriculture to make sure that you are getting tips from them because these people are mandated and their role is to provide extension services and give you uh, advice on issues that are going to be happening in your crop throughout this growing cycle which is why we have a seat for an agronomist in every province who is going to be able to arrive at the post, shortest possible time at your farm to make sure that they, you get the one-on-one -on -one service and advice. The agronomist from, uh, from Agritex, Mr. Nyajena, also mentioned the importance of taking farming as a formidable business. One of the days when farming was viewed as an extracurricular activity or something to do to pass time. Farming is a business that can, uh, can sustain livelihood, so farmers should take it as that. It is also important to take note of the importance of demonstration plots. Demonstration plots are the seed picks that as CITCO and through our agronomists, we issue out to farmers to establish. These seed picks include the genetics that the farmers are used to, the new genetics that will be coming on board. So this is meant to make sure that the farmer can have a one-on-one -on -one feel of the performance of the variety. As he said, even in the Bible, seeing is believing. So we give these farmers this demonstration page so that they establish and can be able to see the performance of the varieties at their own level. And through these farmers, other farmers are also able to see the performance of the seed core varieties, which is why the farmer here, uh, Mr. Paraza, got seed packs from the agronomists in the name of demonstration plots to demonstrate the performance of seed core varieties. Having heard from the agritech officer, we are now coming towards the end of the webinar, but we are kindly asking you to keep sending through your questions. Thank you so much, Philip Garai. And I know this is not the first time for you to be joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming through and for following. If you have any question or, or, or contribution, please send it through. We encourage other farmers as well who are joined in to send through questions so that we can interact with you and make this webinar more exciting. So as we come to an end, we are going to hear from the neighboring farmers, they are take home messages. Just to mention that at this field day, because of COVID uh, regulations, there were 50 farmers who managed to attend. So of those 50 farmers, the neighboring farmers are going to give us their take home messages from the field day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm Dominic I'm sorry, Varim. In Inda Mirapano, Kutenda, Mutunu Medu, Banyam Kanga Meta Nyanzi, Nyanzi Zeti Fiki, Digitenda Zakare, the city cop. Beuyavo, Ino Dadisa, In Indi Jukura, Daisiva Kuti. Tairima 513, Tijuamno Marawa, Tairima Donje, Tairima 513, Yango City, go. I couldn't be that good. I was in the Dakutenda Guti, Yasumukira, Kusika Panzo, Mabunu, Nasa Savaganda Mabunu, Tukutenda with the city go. Yatusumuzira, put it through Kwanza Kushandra Nikatora. Sakandeda Kuti is Tessa Tiripano. Gati Kopez, Nanga Saganaka. Gati Kok and Andei, Kukamba Nineti Tira. 
Defunga nina ama chere la diku fridi de ye 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 ningi ye fumbuza. Inindi muri mo ya donje nde tuwa dagras chuo roga la muna marao. Dimu kuro masabu. Dagata ai wa izinda kurais. Asisi diko nde anda sarzo ndiri mena yo. Ne 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 kuna akakombe utai. Ne kuko na kuari miwa yo. Ne kupfuma kuzi ziswa kuari miwa yo. Saka du nuri ne. Ranya mkanga raita nyanzi. Ne kupudiria kwe kwe nzima ya marawa. B. Saka ndiri kuti. Imewechi diki. Sino kosha isu. Do sino kosha. Samuna nzanzi mwende anza. Haiti wa demo. Vangane tishanje. Yistiri yako ya ono donza. Ichi nzikika ndo ene nda. I'm sorry. Ine itaguti uzika anwe. Kala ndika bata suba kesu. Se nini ne muri diki. Ndika ngweta ngore ngwe chete nda di. Nda guta mba ndisi na nzara. Saka kamba ni akadaro nga isi support. Iye ene tupeza nzara. Iye ita upenyu. Watino rarama. Saka teda utu esi idiko. Mbe utzese zine zine kosha. Ne vredi ili ne kosha. Ne vari mwedi wa shinji wasi wane kosha. Awasi wa mambe wa chete. Mukati umu mune nyanzu zirimo. Uyaye mchitipa. Mbe utzedu kuno. Tisina. Lambu ziko. Rokuno chaka mmashopu. Pangu tine tenge seru wa mbe u. Zinenga zane makore. Zaku namba umu ya zineta. Zawu tistare nyire ndire mbeli. Saka ndiru kuti. Tine mima awasa uravedu. Weski muino. Udu ni mamambo. Nya mkanga. Tukwe nda rambi. Mberi ni chiti imi mawe ya pano. Nya iri po njeo kuti tingalea itaka zara pano. Asiku ne ziruwele za murku nza za teke sera mnika. Dosa ita kuti munga mchinzi. Tena wanu 30 kana 50. Chinangwa cha waru mawa. Kutuwa gawari miwese unyanga tekata 1,000 na 2,000. Taifa nyonga tiri pano. Asi shata kubapana bande etine ita urosa kanaka shata ona. Chande na ukomera. Uka wana chaka naka chiti ambire. Doti mangwana uchite. Uka chiti ya godo. Chikodo chie chine kutitiri la usuka pa siti kopi. Yakari mwani mwini ina ongwa. Uruku nyepa. Chaku peze sera ni chakuti. Iso esi asu tengesa. Zine ukosha sei. Kubude mutifi. Mupepa. Sinzi jima mbilo. Ane pa kumusengez. Ha muse hangwa. Yusu esu wama mbilo pa mangu enda mtao nunonga sungo kwenye ongu. Jiyo watako gona uti. Limpa pa mbilo zgona sei. Iro rombo iro oro. Rikope ori pa. Wow. We have just heard there from the passionate leader of the headmen in that area in uh, in Ma, in the village where Miss Baraza is doing his farming. So the important take home message from this from this uh, clip, the farmer spoke about his um, personal view of the field day. Where he mentioned that he learned quite a lot. He is a farmer who used to establish SC513, but over the years. Through seeing the performance of Sitco varieties, he has also changed and adopted the new varieties, particularly mentioning that um, Mr. Paraza is one of the farmers who is quick to take on new technologies, which helps him in quickly adapting to the climate smart varieties that will be availed on the market. He also spoke about issues to do with copying a good thing. It's important for farmers to copy when another farmer is doing a good thing and try and implement at their farm. This will help in them being able to grow their own enterprises in their own personal capacity. He spoke again about the importance of establishing demonstration plots, but he said an important point that came out. He mentioned that these demonstration plots are also given on merit. If you are a good farmer and who adheres to good agronomic practices, then you've also identified and nominated for these demonstration plots, which are meant to show the optimum performance of seed crop variety. So it's important for you to make sure that you are also giving your crop the best possible management so that you also qualify for the demonstration plots that seed crop will avail of the new varieties as well as the other high yielding varieties that are available already on the market. He spoke about seed crop varieties being a tool towards ending hunger. Where he mentioned that touching the two sizable cobs, he mentioned that him and his small family 
are able to sustain themselves by just having a truckload of, uh, of, of grain that they will have harvested. The headman also went on to mention the importance of understanding one's soil type as well as employing good agronomic practices. Towards the end, the headman spoke highly about the importance of this field day being a tool that is going to cascade the farmer, Mr. Paraza, to greater heights by showcasing his good performance to other farmers out there. As you are already joining in now through different platforms and from different areas, and it's also going to be aired on television. So it's another platform to also grow his name and grow his, um, his networks. And this is also going to add value in his farming enterprise. Let's now hear from the last farmer, who is the neighboring farmer as well, on the take home messages that she found from this field today. Please send through your questions and we'll respond at the end of this clip. Pam Soro, Utunga Miri, Watika Panu. You need to know it was a man, Munga. Did it village it? We KKA, but you know, and you in a Murimi, Baba Parata, but I quit to Am Tambo, Wembe, Zakanaka, Zakashika, Zakarima Panu. You know, that could make it a seed go, and you and you are we are so to batis some Tambo. But you see Grambe Utao, the Nogutenda Ive Sidgo, Nogutim Tambo Ripano, the way Chokwadi, Beu Zen, Imbeu Zatruku Faramunum Dunu, Re Marao, Druguta Randiri Mu Zimba, Druguta and Rum Zimba districts, Mu Mashona and West Province, Irini Echegut, Muno Ta Wanago, Rakawanda. Kubudikiza nimbe uzeni, saka ndugu na kutenda, kutimbe uzeni zamuru kuchika, imbe uzi, no timba tere susevari miku tuane o mari, tuane o pundu tomkati mentsimbo edu, baba wa parada, mwana o mupukura angura ndiro chunga mirira, vandi dadi sa, vari anzati ang, dance gua kufara baba wa parada ndiro kutenda ene shama icha shoguti, maga gona kushanda, imbe uzeni unengua. Mavene gora, tilukuta arisira kutitese ticha kuta muskimu muno. Zinu zinofata, mkati meskimu mko wana mwine warimi. Banori mwajikuwa sa kuzotuwa mwarimi. Uwewe, wasingadi kurima wane kwe kutenga. Kwe shewa chitenge sa, sinu yetu muriavo iwe ya kashambi zika. Magona shwa kaita muriavo. Muriavo nda nzuwa kufara hii murie kutika na maka hita arisa kudai. Ya kashambi zika kuita unge muna arukupa. Muofisi. Kuofisa asiko kuno wani kaa utano cheti. Utano urukuwa ni kakuno kufuno kutu njoo kune mari. Saka inini danzu wa kufara mkati mengu wa ino mkati mebukura ngurichipudo. Baba wapara zawari nyanzi murimi. Ati mawo mperere imaoko. Wow. It's good to see a female headman speaking so passionately about the importance of seed co varieties. So from that, we were the message that came from the headman Mrs. Nyawuma, who was explaining that uh, the farmer, Mr. Paraza, is a farmer in under a, under a custodian, custodianship. So she explained that uh, seed co varieties are performing well in the Zimba district, particularly in, uh, in the area where this farmer managed to establish his crop, Mr. Paraza managed to establish his crop. So the headman also went on to mention the importance of coming in as farmers and learning from the experiences of other farmers. She thanked the farmer for being a lead farmer in the in the in the in the district in the province for making sure that other farmers can also learn from his experience she went on to say that through farming you can sell your produce to other people and get the much needed money to do other enterprises and she also mentioned that from her own assessment at that field day the family of mr paraza was looking very well and it it was well presented so she mentioned that it's something that you can also uh, get from farming and making farming a formidable business. She went on to mention that farming can improve livelihood. And it is something that she recommended other farmers out there to take on seed products and take farming as a serious business. So on that note, would like to thank you all for coming through to this virtual field today, where we were with Ms. Tiparaza at Manyara Village in, um, in Chegutu, Mashona Land West, where we were seeing beautiful crops that were established at a communal setup. 
which is to show that CITCO products perform across the divide. Communal, commercial sector, we are seeing wonders with CITCO products. CITCO products are designed to seed, feed, and we breed these genetics, which are climate smart to make sure that your profitability is enhanced, as well as food security is achieved. First of all, at a village or household level. Then secondly, at a national level. Did you know that the national yield level for maize sits at 0.5 to 0.9 tons per hectare for the previous season, yet varieties on the market can go well above 10 tons, which is to say there's a yield gap that needs to be bridged. And it's called, it can only be bridged by the employment of good agronomic practices, which is why we've conducted these virtual field days to give a look and learn experience to farmers who were not able to go out in their multitudes to attend field days because of the COVID, uh, COVID pandemic. So it's important for us to continue to promote extension and agronomic services that will unlock the genetic potential of seed co products. So here we have questions that we have received in the chat box. We have a question from Nyasha Murira. What variety do you recommend for green maize? I intend to plant, uh, intended to be planted in Mburi, planting to be done beginning of April. Thank you very much for your question. So for Mburi, uh, Mburi sits either in region 2B or 3. So it's important for you to understand your agroecological region because this also speaks to the heat units that you are going to experience as well as the anticipated start of the winter season in your area. So this will then guide you in the choice of seeds, particularly for green millets that you are going to establish. So for more, we would recommend that you establish early to medium maturity varieties. It would have been ideal for you to have established the medium maturity variety by this time, and then move on to establish the early maturity, the five five, the triple five, the five five seven, five one three varieties as you move towards the establishment of four one nine. And take note of the fact that four one nine, being a very early maturing variety, has come with added advantages of a sizable crop as opposed to the 403 that we're used to establishing. So 419 will give you a large attractive crop, which is also suitable for green millet. So it's important for you to also stagger your planting so that you can also increase your period of harvesting as well as your time on the market. But take note and be guided by the frost pattern of your growing area because maize is sensitive to frost. Thank you so much for sending through that question. We are checking through to see if we have any other questions that have come in our chat box. But as we wind up, we'd like to thank you for taking time to join us in this virtual field day and take this opportunity to invite you to the next virtual field day, which is going to be in commemoration of women during this Women's Month and uh, just in commemoration of the International Women's Day, which is also found in this month. So it's going to be conducted next week in Rusape, Word 20, where we are going to be showcasing what women are doing, exceptional work that women are doing in agriculture. Thank you so much for joining us. In the interest of time, and because we do not have any other question in our chat box, would like to end this webinar by reminding you that farming is a formidable business. It starts with the right seed and good agronomic practices. Before we close, we have one question that comes through from Shingi. Thank you so much, Shingi, for joining us through our YouTube channel. What variety can you recommend in Cholocho? Wow. It is always good to see the spread of uh, uh, participants that we have on this platform. Thank you so much, and we appreciate each and every one of you. Cholocho is in Region 5. So in Cholocho, we would recommend that you establish the early to very early maturity varieties, which is to say your 555, your 419, as well as depending on the onset of the rainfall season and the predicted rainfall season that you are having for that uh, particular time, you can even establish SC301 or 303. So these are ultra early maturing varieties, which is to say, even in a dry season, when the rain is said to be low, in 90 to 120 days with SC301 or 303, you already have a sizable crop of grain to harvest. So you can establish ultra early, very early to early maturity varieties in Cholocho. Thank you so much for coming through. Then we also have a question here 
which varieties can be established in Lupane, Tsgodini, and Kezi. So you can also establish these varieties as well. As long as you're in natural region four, natural region five, five A, and now there's a five B, you can establish from the early maturing varieties, moving backwards towards the very early to ultra early maturing varieties. Because if it's a 100% rain fed crop, the length of the season is going to guide you in terms of your variety of choice. But with irrigation and in irrigation schemes, some farmers are even establishing SC727 for green millies. Some farmers are even doing the medium maturity varieties in the irrigation schemes that are found in Makebelele. So thank you so much for joining us. And we wish you a bumper harvest. Just remember that you need to safeguard your yields from in, with, uh, weevil damage as well as crop rot by understanding the fact that yield losses can amount to between 30 to 40% at post harvest and during post harvest handling. So you need to take note of that. We will have a webinar to discuss this further. Thank you so much and please join us next week as we celebrate women.